If you're looking to learn how to use this unique feature with Canva, how to make stories in less than five minutes in bulk, you are going to want to tune in. I'm Roshana, Realtor with KW United. Let's get started. So what I'll cover in this lesson, ideas for creating in bulk, bulk tutorial on how to create 60 stories in less than, you know, two minutes. So story ideas to create in bulk. So you could do client reviews or testimonials. You could do customer spotlight. You could do a national day of the week or the month. So for the month of June, for example, is homeownership month. So you could do something in bulk. You could showcase your clients that have recently closed to you, feature a new person each day. You could do that. Or if you're more of a motivational or inspirational person, you can do quotes on that every other day or whatever you want to do. You can create a post and create a poll and a survey, and you can do Q&A sessions as well. So steps of creating your stories in bulk. So I wanted to do this first to outline, and then we'll go into the actual lesson. So you want to create your template first in Canva in the correct dimensions. You want to create a separate spreadsheet, a Google spreadsheet with the data, or if you're an Excel person, you can use Excel. I just like Google because it's easier for me. Then you want to add the bulk app to your design. Keep in mind, to do this feature, you have to have the pro account with Canva. And also, then you want to add the data from the spreadsheet. You can add it by manually but I find that if you've already done the pre preliminary work it makes it easier instead of having to type it out manually so it just depends on how many you're trying to create if you want to create a couple of them, like maybe 10 that's okay but you know it just makes it easier and then you click on the fields from the data import and you connect it which this seems confusing right now but once you see it done you'll say why haven't I been doing this before so let's see it in action. So this is a quick, um, not necessarily a quick tutorial. So I already created the template. So it says client review. It has stars. So you can, you can, you see on the left hand side, you can use a template, whatever template you want. And then um, this is actually my office where I'm actually sitting recording this uh, for you to learn so this is um, this is not an actual review but I actually just made this for an example and so you wanna you don't have to put your picture you can put your clients picture you can do whatever you want but this is how I'm I'm showing you how it's done so now what we want to do is I'm gonna have two screens open so you can see So this is the spreadsheet that I used for this particular video. But before that, let me open this up. So I already have, you see right here, it says bulk create at the bottom. But you have to look for it. Because if you don't use it all the time, it won't be there. So click on, so type bulk, then do bulk create. It's going to be at the bottom. I wish you could move these around. I don't think you can. So you have a couple options. So you can enter them manually. So you can enter them. You can you just click on the fill and you can type. But to me, that takes too long. You can also add images, um, but I'm I'm not gonna do that in this video. So at the top of the field, so at the in the A section, so we copy that, and in the name we paste. And then for the client name in section B, column B, we copy that and we're going to replace the email here, paste, and then we click done. So now, what is it that we actually want to change? And also, I would recommend you drag this because if you don't, then you'll have to do, you want to make sure all your template is how it needs to be because you'll have to do a lot of work. Because, I mean, it's it's 60 reels here that I'm creating. If you're not creating that many, it might not be that much work. But the whole point of this is so you don't have to, like, go in and make changes. Like, once you do it, once you hit enter, it's done. That's the whole point. So if you're happy with it, you can move this down. You can move this down a little bit. And so this is what I actually want to 
change, so the review. So it, you don't have to name it what it is, but it's just easier because you have, may have several things on the sheet. So click more, and then you want to click connect the data. And so the review is what I want changed. So click review, and then for the client name, do the same thing, the three dots, connect data, client name. And then you click continue, and now these are all of the reviews that I have. These aren't actual reviews, this is what I made up for the video. So I want to generate 60 designs. So what's going to happen now is another window is going to pop up. So it's not going to get rid of your original. It's going to make it in a new field. And what I would also recommend you do is only have one, basically one symbol. Like if I had another um, page in here with the other data, it would repeat. So don't do that. Just have one thing that you're trying to do. So generate 60 designs. And voila, look at that. We have 60 designs. So I'll put this grid view so you can see them all. So 60 designs. Everything's there, all the reviews, the client name, and 60. See, we're done. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, share, read the description for more tips. I welcome your reviews. I'm licensed in Virginia, Maryland, and DC. I hope this video helped you. If you comment below if you've ever used a bulk feature and what you use it for in your business. Make it a great day.